Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Attempster. Today I'm going to be showing you how to properly animate a rig character in the Blender Game Engine. On top of that, we'll also be learning to use the Dope Sheet Editor, as you can see on the right, and we'll also be learning about animation blending and how to blend two different actions together. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, right here I have my character that I want to animate. It's from BlendSwap, so there'll be a link down in the description if you want to go ahead and get him as well. Or you might just want to be doing this to your own game character. So, the first thing I'm going to do is press Z to go into wireframe, select his rig, change it to pose mode. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a simple waving animation. So I'll move his arm down here, move it down here, move this up here, and just a really, really basic animation. Again, in your animations, they probably want to be a lot more high quality uh, and looking a lot nicer as well. Okay, so that's just fine for me. And this is going to be my starting animation pose. So before I continue animating him, what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to choose Dope Sheet. And then what I want to do in here is instead of Dope Sheet, I want to click in here, go to Action Editor, click in there, scroll along here, and then we want to click New. Okay, and I'll pop up with Action. And instead of Action, we want this to be called Wave. Okay. So just wave, and then what we're going to do is down the bottom here, we'll click record, and then in here we'll choose location rotation, and then also we'll select this key function here. Uh, what that basically means is whatever we've put in here, so location rotation, we'll be using that. If we just use record, it will do location rotation and scale. Uh, but we just want these two right here. I'm going to press A to deselect, A to select everything, and then I. And as you can see, over in the dope sheet, each bone, if you've named them properly, should have one keyframe inserted in like this. Then we can go along down here in the timeline, we can go to frame 10. And maybe we'll move his hand over here. And the record function down here will have automatically placed that. So as you can see, only this bone here has the one animation keyframe. Then what I'm going to do using the dope sheet is I'm going to scroll in. Oh. Yep, scroll in like so, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press A in this window to deselect all the keyframes, then I'm going to select this one over here, press Shift D, and then GX20. Okay, so now we have our first one, our second one, our first one, and then I want to have one more wave after that. So I'm going to select my initial one over here, and then I'm going to hold down shift, select my second one over here, then I'm going to press shift D to duplicate and press GX20. Okay, and so now we'll go from the beginning, he waves like that. Okay, so just a basic waving animation. Now I want to have a second animation, and this is going to be a very simple walking animation. So what I'm going to do down here is scroll along the bottom here and under here, there'll be a plus sign, click that, and suddenly our name here will change to wave.001. Now before we do anything else, if you click in here, you'll notice our previous animation, wave, is there, but it has a zero beside it. What that means in Blender is anything with a zero beside it means it won't be saved if you quit Blender. So click in here, and then go along to this F function and click that. Now normally you wouldn't have to do that if you have it inside an action like this. So if you have it inside an action it should be fine, but if it's not assigned then you have to press this F here, or you can just press it just in case and that will save the animation even if it's not being used. Okay, so that's the wave animation done for us. Now we're going to go along to wave 01, which again you'll notice has a zero beside it, so we'll click on this, press the F first of all. And this isn't actually going to be a wave animation, this is going to be a running animation for me. So I'm going to rename this Run. Now all these animations in this dope sheet right here we don't need, so I'm going to press A, select all of them, then press X and delete keyframes. So now you'll notice there is nothing and down here it's changed to click to add a new action. However, you have to be very careful here, we want to go back to Run, even though it has no keyframes. Now what I'm going to do is to get rid of my previous pose in this 3D window. I'm going to press A to select 
all the armature, then making sure you're in pose mode, I'm going to press Alt R to get rid of the rotation, and then Alt G just in case you have moved any bones around. Okay, so that's his default position. Now before I do anything else, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push his arms to his side like that. Okay, so something like that. Then what I'm going to do is press numpad 3 to go into side view, and then I'll start my running animation. So the first pose that I want is I'll select one of these legs, move it out here, and have his other leg be somewhere around here. As you can see, these uh, knee pads don't seem to be connected, but that is no issue. We'll just pretend they don't exist. Uh, so in numpad 3, I'm going to set out my bones like this. Then I'm going to press A to deselect, A to select everything, and to make sure there's a keyframe on everything, I'm going to press I. And that will insert a keyframe for every single bone, which is usually what you want when starting from frame 0. And then also one more thing I have to do is I'm going to move his arms slightly, so RX on this one and RX in the opposite direction on that one. So there is our default pose. Now for looping animations like this one, possibly walking or running as well, you'll notice that the character will always have to start off at the same spot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press A to deselect and then A to select everything. And then what I'm going to do is in our dope sheet window here, I'm going to press Shift D and then GX60. Now our walking animation will be from frame 0 all the way to frame 60 and there will just be a continuous loop. If we've set up everything right, on frame 30 here, which is halfway, we should have this pose here but flipped. So we should have our arm here facing forwards, this arm here going backwards, and the same for the legs. An easy shortcut, which we can do but doesn't always work, is we can go to here, pose, and then click copy pose and then on frame 30 we can go to pose again and then paste x flipped pose okay and so I think it's only flipped the arms at the moment so we'll just check that yep there's only the arms moving and some slight movement from the legs now we'll just have to go over to frame 30 and quickly do the legs so this one over here like so and the other one over here roughly Again, hopefully you'll be putting a lot more time into your animations. This is just an example. Okay, so there we go. From there to there. And then over here in frame 15, we'll be making sure we have a nice crossover. So maybe we want... Oh, if we have the right leg selected. So this one here. Maybe we want this one to be up a bit. Like that. And our X. Rx, okay, like that. So again, I'm going to making sure I'm on frame 45. Over here, I'm going to press Rx, and then Rx, and there we go, just something like that. Okay, so just something simple like that. Okay, so now we have our walking animation. His starting pose is here, his ending pose is here, which should be the same. Okay, so now we have our two animations, our run here, and our wave. Now what we want to do is blend them together. So first of all here, we're done with animating, so I'm going to go to object mode over here. Then I'm going to press shift S, cursor to center. Then I'm going to press shift A, add a cube. Now hopefully you already have a movement cube or something of the like, so something that the player can be controlled by and moved around. Now, one more thing we have to do, as you'll notice, it's made a cube action for us without us doing anything. Reason for that is down here we still have record on. So turn that off first of all, then over here press the X button. So this will be like our controller for our armature here. So I'm going to select my armature, hold down shift and select the cube. Then press control P and parent. Then I'm going to select my armature, make sure it's on no collision. And then our cube here, we can then set to dynamic or whatever you want to. Also, for the mesh, we have to make sure that is on no collision as well. Okay, so now making sure I have my cube selected, over here I'm going to add a keyboard sensor, 
and what I basically need is two keys one for waving and one for walking so here I'm going to add another keyboard sensor and we'll make this window bigger to make it easier to see okay so right here and my first key I'm just going to make it W and my second key S okay and then here on a true pulse and here on a true pulse then I'm going to add two end controllers join each one up accordingly and then on here we're not going to add the action because that means that our cube will be doing the action which we don't really want we want the armature doing the action so select the armature then over here we want to add an action and we want two actions first one is going to be wave and the second one's going to be run now as you'll notice there is still cube action there and as you can see there's a zero beside it so if you save blender and quit and then open again that should be gone okay so back over here to our soldier rig uh, we'll set this here to loop stop and turn off continue then down here on the run we'll also set it to loop stop and turn off continue over here I'm going to call this wave and down here I'm going to call this run and then I'm going to hold down shift, select my cube, join the first one to the wave, second one to the run. And minimize all of those, like that, except for we want to keep these action ones open. Now to blend in our animations, what we need is we need two of the same animations to be on the same layer. So layer one and layer one for both of them. And this is how much we want to blend them together. So on the layer here, the amount of blending, maybe for the wave, mm, we might have 0.6, and for the run, we might have 0.7, roughly. Okay, then on the priority here, I think we want to make wave the second priority, and we want run to be the first priority. And then over here on the blending, do about 5 or 6, so maybe 6 here, and 5 for the wave. Now one more thing we need to do is add starting and ending frames. So if we go over here to our run animation, it goes from frame 0 to frame 60. So here, frame 0, frame 60. Then our wave animation, if we click on it, it goes from frame 0 to frame 60 as well. Okay, so here, frame 0 to frame 60. What you can also do is reverse these to get an opposite effect. So you can possibly run this from 60 to frame 0, and then your character will run backwards. Uh, but we want them running forwards just for now, or walking forwards. So maybe instead of run, we will call this walk here. Walk. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is minimize those two, drag this down like so go to texture view go to the side here and press P now if I press W he's waving maybe we'll get a better view here now if I press W you can see he's waving if I press S then he's walking okay and I can switch between the two and it doesn't snap instantly there is a slight amount of blending between each action so you can trigger each one individually and as you can see the hand it's moving between being in the walking pose and also being in the waving position so I think that is about it that's how to get nice smooth animations going in the blender game engine hope you enjoyed this quick tip video if you did be sure to leave a like comment or share all of that stuff is greatly appreciated if your one didn't work out be sure to check the description for a link to a working copy if you have any problems be sure to leave a comment below and I'll also to try help you out but otherwise hope you enjoy the tutorial have an awesome week and i'll see you guys in the next one